We're here testing at Milton Keynes. It's the second part of our first on-road trials. There are loads of questions that still need to be answered around self-driving cars and the automated features that we're likely to start seeing in the next five years. So we're really starting to look at how we can enhance that customer experience and understand what our customers expect. So we're finding that there's lots of barriers to adoption at the moment. People are very nervous about handing over control to technology. So we really need to understand what value does autonomy offer the customer and how can we convince them to take that step to make that leap of faith. The way we build trust in people is we get to know them, we spend time with them. And it's going to be the same with technology. The more people experience it, the more they use it, the more they're going to trust it. And that's a gradual process of building confidence, building trust in these features as we move forward into the future. It's really clear that once the vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle and vehicle-to-infrastructure communications exist, that will really aid the development of the self-driving cars. One of the features that we are demonstrating today here at Milton Keynes is called collaborative parking. That feature consists that as soon as the car approaches the car park, it will get an updated map of the whole car park and where there are empty slots. Electronic emergency brake light, the driver, will be able to get an advanced warning when the car in front is doing a hard braking. The whole point of that feature is that we don't have to physically see the, the car in front that is doing the braking. That's why the vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication is so useful. Safety will always be our highest priority for connected vehicles. At the end of the day, what we want is all the cars to speak the same language. Jaguar Land Rover is all about designing experiences that customers love for life. The only way we do that is by really understanding our customers, how they want to interact with your product or service, and making sure that that design of that product meets the expectations and the requirements of that user. From a research perspective and driving the concept car around, it's really valuable to let the car explore and see what it will do and see how it will react in situations. So we can gather that data and then feed that forward. The team are so excited to see how the car is developing. We've made a huge amount of progress since those first trials. All of this is really a valuable learning that we'll take forward to develop that further.